All right, so we officially own the house, so it's time for another shaky cam video showing everyone what's going on here. Um, the last one was super, super rushed, so I kind of want to take my time and just talk about plans for the house. So you can see here's the address walking in. These have to be trimmed, but we don't have a hedge trimmer, so I can wait. All right, after living with Michael and Stephanie, we realized we really like having kind of a gate out front so Rigel can't really escape. So we're going to put a little gate up here, you know, just a little wrought iron thing that'll sort of block him in. So if he gets out the front door, it's not like he's going to get out, get out. Okay, we've really decided we like the airlock system. All right, so here's the front doors. Jen wants them painted. They're not in bad shape. They're a little worn. Um, like, for example, who puts this and disables the deadbolt on the wrong side, you know? So what I'm probably going to do is fill this in with wood and then we're not going to buy two of these things at 130 bucks each that one just won't have a handle on it and that'll be fine um, I want to show you this this is for you to see dad you can see the molding is missing on that well who is that what am I seeing here right as I come out I think the neighbor's dog got out look at the hair stand up on his back he hates me I think he's lost here buddy come here Come here. Come here. I have treats. Rigel is at Michael and Stephanie's house. Well, hang on. Let's pause this video and see if we can't find his home. All right, well, that was unexpected. So, anyway, his owner was just right down the street, so he's good. That's a lot of dogs in this neighborhood, which is nice. All right, anyway, so the molding is missing on this part of the door. Okay. So... What I actually did was there was a little extended piece here which I snapped off so that I could figure out what router bit I'm going to need to recreate it. I'll rebuild that and then what we're probably going to do is paint those doors and uh, that'll be that. Probably going to paint them white on the inside and I think Jen wanted like a navy 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 blue on the outside. Alright so here's the front entryway. You can see there's our big old leaded glass windows. Jen hates this chandelier. So that's going to go not too long from now. The black marble stays. This room, the floor will stay. We may rebuild it one day, but for right now, we're going to unload everything in here. You can see more of the leaded glass. Okay, but we're going to unload the pod mostly into this room and the dining room. Okay, so you can see this is where we're sleeping right now. Just because these floors are not going to get redone. The stairs, uh, pretty much every other laminate floor you see with the exception of our master bath is going to get redone in carpet. Okay? Anything you see that's laminate will be redone. So when you walk in, staircase here, dining room which goes to the kitchen, and then this room here. There's a, oh look at these, these are neat. But the problem is they're super, super hot because they're incandescents. We're going to buy a thousand CFLs. Big closet back there, big storage closet, coat closet. All right, right here in the entry, here's the bath. By the way, so, you know, the question came up, what happens if people visit that can't go upstairs or anything like that? Rather than turn my office into a room, what we're going to do is make it, put very subtle brackets so we can put a bar up there and curtain this off, and then this will have a couch that will pull out into a bed, and then whoever's staying there can use this bathroom, which is, you know, very easy to step, it has seats, it's kind of the perfect bathroom, you know? So anyway, obviously this is where we're hanging out. This is my office on the bottom floor here. Now we've discovered kind of an issue with this room. Oh, there's no ceiling fan in this room, which we're going to take one out of one of the other rooms and put it in. Discovered kind of an issue, not a real issue, but this was going to be where the all the network cables and stuff for the house were going to convene. The problem is there's not even a cable hookup in here to put the TV through. There's a cable hookup right on the other side of this wall for the living room, and so I'm wondering if I can't piggyback off that conduit and snake something through the wall. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to snake completely through the wall off that and then put a tap right here on the wall. It'll be a very big tap. What I'm thinking for this room is kind of a low desk counter here with some storage underneath. Okay, And then actually a middle of the room desk here sticking out. And then I want bookshelves on all these walls, and I'm actually going to hide the closet because that's going to be where the server is going to go. I will be taking this half of the closet completely out, 
the server rack is going to go in there, and then eventually one day we're going to have to put a hole out the wall because there's an exterior wall to the uh, to put an air conditioning unit in to keep that cool. Right here, right where this wall is here, this is actually the second water heater for the house, and that's gas right now. So there's power here, but there's probably not enough power to put, you know, a tankless water heater, which one day, you know, years down the road, we're going to put in. So given that, we're probably going to have to get a cable backbone in here anyway. One, a separate breaker just for the server space, and then two for that. So when we do that, I'll run a proper backbone for any conduit in the house for Ethernet and stuff. But anyway, carpet in here is going to go as well. We're ripping out all the old carpets so they all match. All right, here's the living room. You can see the server is loud and set up. So all our internet's working. This room will be recarpeted. Put the fan. This house, uh, where is it? This house, almost every ceiling fan has one of these guys to it. So Jen hates them, but I like them. Um, fireplace. These windows don't have the leaded glass over, and if Jen gets motivated, she may try to find somebody that can recreate them there. That obviously needs to have a cover like the rest of them, but those will be the speakers we'll use in this room. I kind of envision this as the place where Jen is going to watch most of her TV, whereas for me, I'm going to watch it in the office and the upstairs room. But the, behind that panel, there's all the speaker wiring, so it should be easy. TV will go on this wall. I haven't figured out what's behind that one yet. It's not power. I don't know. Problem for future me. So this looks out onto the eating area here. Like I said, Rigel is at Michael and Stephanie's house right now, so he's not underfoot. All right, so there's this little thing. Looking at this, the inspector believes power, power, power goes along this wall, power goes under there, and then the power stops there, meaning there's space here for a doggy door. And that's how we're going to proceed. Not really room on that side. So we're going to punch it in the wall, because this is actually kind of a narrow sliding glass door. Right, again, there's the fan with its little remote control. Okay. Um, here's the kitchen. Low bar here, which is kind of neat. Lots of space in the kitchen. Double oven. This is a, a nice microwave. We were looking at it last night. Looks like it's a convection as well, because otherwise, how can they put metal in it? You store your, you know, pads here. Big old gas stove. You know, one kind of wasted cabinet back there. We don't know how we're going to get at. No fridge yet. That's coming. The island actually has power in it. We have to remove all these damn child locks. The island has power. But all in all, it's real nice. Um, pantry's over there, and the staircase up to the landing here. It's kind of hard to see, but if you go up here to the landing, that's the front entry. Okay. Rigel has discovered that shortcut and loves just running up and down it. Pantry has this beautiful glass door, which we really like. Here. It's real pretty. We really like that. We saw it in a lot of houses. Um, there's an ADT system in the house that we haven't hooked up yet. Um, our nice new red washer and dryer. We're going to go in here. This room also has a big, well, I have the thing stuff. There's a big closet in there as well. Okay. I have Michael and Stephanie's car right now because Jen is at work and they only need one. So I'm borrowing it. Thank you very much, Michael and Stephanie. So this is the garage. Here's the sprinkler panel, which I don't know how it works yet. That's where the f outdoor fridge will go, and obviously the second water heater. You can see it's all gas. Um, let's turn this on. This, if I'm remembering correctly, this GFI here, it's like, why is there a GFI? This GFI is hooked up to the bedroom, bathroom ones. So if you trip those, it's possible you have to come down here and trip this one. Anyway, this is my workshop. You can see it's already hooked up with that. Storage up there. It's kind of funny, it has a door handle on it. Um, sink, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put a deeper desk back there, a deeper workbench, okay, maybe two to three feet deep. Then it's gonna extend out on this wall and be less thick, maybe 18 inches thick. And it's probably only gonna go here to the halfway point. And then all of my tools will actually be on wheels. I may put up some more pegboard. We'll see what we do. I may extend that cabinet, but that's a problem for very, very, very future me. Um, this one has a garage door opener. This one does not. I think that's good. All right, let's go back in. All right, 
So we never got to look at the backyard really before, so let's go back out here. All right, going out the back, and this is the only entrance to the backyard from that one. So first of all, this is a real nice trellis. You're going to see I've been working out here today, so the carpet guy came to measure. So I'm actually going to try to re... You can see it's not anchored into the house. And it's just anchored in with the simple little concrete guys. I think I am going to try to duplicate this over the jacuzzi. Let's go look at the jacuzzi. The lawn needs to be mowed, but we don't have a lawnmower. So for now, it's Rigel's bathroom. Uh, if I had shoes on, I'd go over there and show you this compost bin, which is not only full, but has a big dead rat sitting on the top of it. It's just decomposing. So this is our cover. Um... Right when these stairs, I was working in here a little bit. When these stairs are up against here, Rigel can get up on top of this, but you know, it's he's, he can't fall in. And the cover's big, and heavy. Okay, so this is our jacuzzi. Should easily fit eight people. It works. I don't remember how to make it work. Jen was making it work the other day. I wasn't paying any attention. There we go. So, works beautiful. Um, there are two fountains in the yard, one of which I thought was working, and now it's not. So this one over here, I am uh, taking apart ooh, the screws that I had pulled out fell. I need to make sure no Rigel will step on them. Okay, this one I'm cleaning out because the dog likes to drink from it, and in cleaning it out, I kind of have been dismantling it, but I don't have a wrench to get the drain here to drain, so... I kind of lost steam. I need a second person to carry that off. I need to do a little bit of concrete patching here. Anyway, here's all the pieces of it. You know what's neat here? We have four trash cans. Two recyclable. We've been de-weeding in here. This is the other, uh, the other fountain, but it fell apart, didn't it? Here, hang on. Let me watch repair. This oh, Jen hates this. I think it's neat. So, there's that. Like I said, Jen hates it. We actually, I'm going to go pick up patio furniture after this. It's going to go under here for now. Then what we may do is move it over there later, get an umbrella for it, and put like a low seating area here. And then get some lounge chairs over there. So here's our air handler, or our uh, air conditioner. Well, I think this is dumb. All right, I think this should have gone around the side of the house. So this, you got to think, this is the wall to the office closet where we'll punch through and put the the air conditioner for the servers. Just a space back here. Probably one day we'll build a little overhang or a shed or something and put back here. Here's the door for the second water heater, which is exterior. There's no access out there, so you know, Rigel can run around, who cares? I don't if we ever have to replace this though, I'm gonna see if they can't reroute it back there. And it's a perfect place for it. It's out of the way. It's this thing's loud as hell, so we'll see. Anyway, I scrubbed these today. So that's all done. That's my lion fountain. This video may be a little close to YouTube's maximum length, so maybe I should speed up. I'm already at 12 minutes. All right, this is kind of nice in my opinion. N neither one of these gates shut properly, but there's an airlock here, so we can go out without having to worry about Rigel getting out, you know? And this is where the trash cans live, and then the garage door is back here. So that's real nice, you know. It's real hard for Rigel to get out here, I think, and I'm really glad for that. Here is, and I was talking to you about this, Dad, our breaker panel. It's full. It's really not a lot of breakers for a house this size. At least there's a main, unlike the other house. So when we go solar, I have a feeling we're going to have a lot. Oh, and here's the telephone and cable connections. When we go solar, I have a feeling. We're going to have issues. Um, I'm going to stop this and do a part two. All right, part two, picking up right where we left off. Back out to the yard. This latch here just does not work well. There's our little sprinkler valves, which I have to go figure out. This is actually into the kitchen here. These windows look into the kitchen. Jen likes all the plants. I don't know anything about plants. Okay. See my lion fountain, and we go. So there's power here, power there, power back there, and power back there. Power all over the place back here, which is nice. All right, I am going to lock this because pretty soon I'm going to go to Home Depot and pick up that patio furniture. 
I think that's everything on the bottom floor. So now we'll go upstairs. All the stairs are getting carpeted. All right, straight into the master. Jen is going to find someone that can recreate that in leaded glass. Because you can see somebody took out the leaded one. Whatever, we'll get that done. Another fan, another remote control. Also the thermostats in here and an ADT panel. This is of course gonna get carpeted. Here's the master bath. water closet with the storage. This one's going to be my sink. That one's going to be Jen's sink. Here's the uh, tub. The blue tapes are supposed to be the inspector indicating you found something. Here's our shower. We're going to frost this and Jen found a thing that like can recoat the brass because she doesn't like the brass. So we're not going to remove it but we're just going to recoat it. I don't know. And big master closet. This is getting recarpeted. And when they do it, they're going to put an edge on it. And then later down the road, we're going to tile this, but that's a long time away. A big master closet. So that'll be nice. All right. Plenty of towel racks, which we'll probably put more because we use a lot of towels. All right. There's also one of those in every room. But we have a couple, all, the carbon monoxide ones as well, as well, and we'll put those in. There's a smoke detector in every room. All right, here's a bedroom. Again, fan, the remote. I think they're neat. Looking out over the backyard. We also like that we have mature trees. I mean, maybe you can kind of see into that house over there. Otherwise, we're completely private. And then, you know, the question is, why don't you guys have a pool? Well, our HOA has a pool. Here's where the attic is and the ADT panel. So we, uh, the HOA has a pool. So why do we need a pool? I wonder why he put the blue tape on this door. The shuts. There's no problems. I don't, I don't understand. It's in the inspection report. It's kind of a funny shape up here. Rigel gets confused sometimes. I'm a little worried he's going to try to jump. Because he's going to see us over here or something. But I think he's starting to figure it out. Here's another bedroom. I don't think we've decided which bedroom will be kids' bedroom and which will be guest room. But, you know. Okay, this room does not have a fan, but it will one day. Actually, the fan in that other bedroom we just saw will probably go into my office. Okay? Tub, bathroom, linen closet in here. Big linen closet. Okay. Another room, again, no fan. As of right now, we have three fans to put in. Okay. I have a feeling this one's gonna be the guest room. And the reason for that is, if the kids are sleeping in there and I decide to watch a movie, there'll be space and I can just be cognizant not to watch a movie when there's guests. So this loft we kind of see as a play area, there's that. I think it's the only light or fan in the house that doesn't have a remote control to it. Um, yeah, we see this as being like a like a play area. You know, desks, couch, whatever. It's kind of open so, you, you know, the kids can get to it, keep an eye on them, stuff. But this room here, I've dibs. I claimed this room as the man cave. And there's big plans, but they're not even worth getting into. The screen, which we've already bought, will go on that wall over there. And then I'm gonna build a low riser for about half the room. And then the entertainment stack will go back here with the power and the cable. It'll probably be mounted up on the wall. Fan in here. Of course, this whole thing's gonna get carpeted. And I need to do big curtains that cover the leaded glass window here. So, lots to be done, but it'll be good. You know, we don't even come up here right now. Yeah, we found the previous owner left their hookah bong filters. So there you go. Um, that's pretty much the tour. We think that's gas, the, the attic air handler. And uh, I can show you why we think that. Jen hates this. One day, we'll get rid of it.
Okay, so you can see this is the little air guy. I'll pop them off. Let's see, can you see this on the video? This switch here, which is in the down position, elect for electricity, and down there, gas, and it's in the gas position. So I don't know, that's the only, I haven't been in the attic yet, that's the only evidence I have that the air handler is actually gas powered instead of electric powered. Not sure what we think about that. You know, the long term goal would be to do everything solar and have everything be electric, but you know, you can't do the fireplace electric. I mean, you can, but you're not going to. And we have the gas cooked up. So we're always going to have to have some gas. There, I would think it wouldn't be difficult to put a gas line outside to do a gas grill off the house as well. But they don't think the house will have the BTUs to support it. I think that it's got to. If we take off both water heaters, the air handler, now it's got to be able to handle it. So this is um, a gas line also if we do a gas dryer, but we're not going to. It's pretty much the deal. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth showing. I think that's it. Um, you know? Pretty well made, we think. Inspector liked it. You know, so far so good. Haven't noticed any issues, just little maintenance things. I am going to be tearing all the laminates out myself to save us money. That's the deal. Over and out.